It's almost my birthday. But more importantly, my favorite holiday is around the corner, National Polyphenol Day. And what better way to celebrate both than with my cake recipe that's chock full of the amazing plant compound that I'm crazy about. Every year when I post the Gundry approved cake my amazing team here at Gundry MD makes for my birthday, I get flooded with requests for the recipe. Well, this year I've decided to do a whole birthday cake demo. I call it the polyphenol packed life by chocolate cake. It's delicious, sugar free, lectin free, and full of polyphenol rich ingredients that will help you and your gut buddies thrive. Thanks to the dark chocolate, matcha, espresso, pistachios, and olive oil. Plus, this cake is rich in prebiotic fiber thanks to allulose. Oh, and I have vegan ingredient alternatives as well. Okay, let's get started. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees and grease an eight inch springform pan. Now we're gonna combine all our dry ingredients. We've got one half cup allulose powdered, one teaspoon baking powder, make sure it's aluminum free, one quarter teaspoon iodized salt, a half a cup of sorghum flour, one teaspoon natural non-Dutch cocoa powder, one tablespoon espresso powder, one teaspoon matcha powder, and a quarter cup pistachios chopped. So in a mixing bowl, combine all these dry ingredients and mix until the ingredients are all distributed. And you can have fun, you can use a whisk, you can use a spatula, you can use a couple of forks, whatever you got laying around the house. Just make sure it breaks up nicely. Put that to the side while we work on our wet ingredients. We've got nine ounces melted dark chocolate. four tablespoons butter, French or Italian, two tablespoons MCT oil, C8 preferably, two tablespoons extra virgin olive oil, one half teaspoon vanilla extract, and then four whole eggs. Now get pasture raised or if you want a vegan replacement, use just egg, which are now in almost every grocery store in the egg section. So you take your melted chocolate and add the butter, olive oil, just like we did. And now let's whisk it until it's all combined. Slowly add the dry ingredient mixture into the chocolate mixture slowly whisking until a batter is formed. Okay, that's about all it needs. Pour the batter into your grease pan. And it's gonna look almost as thick as a brownie mixture baked for 20 to 30 minutes or until an inserted toothpick comes out clean. Now allow the cake to cool before removing from the pan. And it's really easy. Now, what you probably want to do is just dust it with a little powdered allulose or even a monk fruit sweetener. And, you know, get creative, make some faces or lines. And that's plenty, just like that. You made a phenomenal sugar-free, lectin light, plant paradox compliant chocolate cake that's packed with polyphenols. And remember, there's lots of other ways to do this. A single layer, you know, isn't, isn't your thing. Then you can make small double layers and put some lectin light frosting on it and have a beautiful cake that looks more like a birthday cake. So the next time a loved one or friend is celebrating a birthday, help support their health by whipping up this cake 
that you all love and your good gut buddies will also love. And just like that, you've made a phenomenal sugar-free, lectin light, plant paradox compliant chocolate cake that's packed with polyphenols. The next time a loved one or friend is celebrating a birthday, help support their health by whipping up this cake that you all love and your good gut buddies will also love. Make sure to follow my Instagram at Dr. Stephen Gundry and Gundry MD for all the latest and greatest polyphenol day news and use the hashtag polyphenol day. Here is another one of my favorite recipes, charred cabbage steaks with smoky mushroom bacon and Alabama white sauce. Get ready for a tasty, nutritious meal. And for the smoky mushroom bacon, you will need all of these ingredients. Start by removing stems from mushrooms and slice thin. In a large mixing bowl, gently toss in extra virgin olive oil until mushrooms are evenly coated in oil. Place mushroom slices in a single layer on a lined baking sheet and sprinkle with sea salt. Roast in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. Flip the mushroom slices once and roast for an additional five to 10 minutes or until desired crispiness is achieved. And next for the Alabama white sauce, you will need the following ingredients. Simply combine all these ingredients in a mixing bowl and set aside. Now, don't forget the star of the show, our delicious cabbage steaks. For this, you will need the following. Bring water to a boil in a pot and add salt, a rosemary sprig, remove from the heat and let it cool. Allow quartered cabbage to brine in liquid for at least two hours or overnight for better flavor. Remove from the liquid, pat dry, brush with avocado oil, and set aside. Then, over a preheated grill on high, sear cabbage quarters until the edges are crispy. Top with Alabama white sauce and smoky mushroom bacon that you made earlier. And if you want to take it to the next level, why not throw a drizzle of Gundry MD polyphenol rich olive oil over the top? All right, enough talking. Let's make this delicious recipe. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you on National Polyphenol Day. Thanks for watching, but don't go anywhere. The next episode of the Dr. Gundry podcast is waiting for you now.